Welcome to OFR. My name is Kevin, and in this tutorial, I'll be guiding you on how to assemble the MOM 6 drawer chest from IKEA. For this build, you need a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a drill, a hammer, a 5 16th inch drill bit, and a pencil. You can also use a Phillips or Posi drive bit to speed up the assembly process. Before you start, I'd also recommend keeping all the bits and pieces in their intended bags, as mixing them up will create unnecessary confusion. So the first step is to put these two panels into this orientation. Just make sure the unfinished edges are facing inwards. Also grab yourself 12 of these screws from Mag1. Now screw in the 12 screws into these 12 holes. The final product should look something like this. Then grab four scratch guards and hammer them into these four spots. Next, grab these four pieces of wood that are all the same and put them into this orientation. Also grab eight of these smaller dowels and hammer two of them into each piece of wood like this. Repeat the same step for the other three pieces of wood. Now connect these four pieces of wood like this. Then grab these two pieces and put them into this orientation. Also grab four smaller dowels and hammer them into these four holes. Now connect both pieces like this. Next, grab six of these fasteners and secure them into these six holes. It's going to look something like this. Now grab this piece and put it in this orientation. 
Also grab these two braces and four of these screws. The screws should have a larger head on them. Then secure both braces like this. Now grab two scratch guards and hammer them into these two spots. Next, grab two of the same screws and connect the piece you just assembled like this. Then secure this piece using the two screws. It's going to look something like this. Now connect the other panel like this. Then grab six of these fasteners and secure them into these six holes. Now grab two of these screws and screw them into these two holes. Next, grab the top panel and put in this orientation. Just make sure the unfinished edge is in this position. Also grab six of these screws and screw them into these six holes. The end product should look something like this. Now grab this piece and put in this orientation. Also grab two small wooden dowels and hammer them into these two holes. Then connect this piece like this. Next, grab two of these braces and four of these screws. The screws will have a smaller head on them. Then secure both braces with the four screws. It's going to look something like this. Now grab this piece and put in this orientation. Also grab the left drawer slide that should be marked with an L and two of these screws. Then secure the left drawer slide like this. Now flip this piece over so it's in this orientation. Also grab the right drawer slide that should be marked with an R and two of these screws. 
Then secure the drawer slide with the two screws like this. Next, grab two big dowels and hammer them into these two holes. Now connect this piece like this. Then grab two of these fasteners and secure them into these two holes. Now from the wall hardware bag, grab two brackets, two washers, and two of these screws. You'll be securing the two brackets into these two holes. It's going to look something like this. Now flip the chest onto its feet like this. Then grab this metal support and four of these screws. Now put the metal support in this position and secure each side with two screws. It's going to look something like this. Next, grab four dowels and hammer them into these four holes. Then connect the top panel like this. Now grab four of these fasteners and secure them into these four holes. Then turn and place the chest like this so the unfinished edges are facing up. Next, grab the backing and place it on as shown. Now go to the top right corner with one nail and make sure the corner's flush. Then hammer a nail into this spot. Next, go to the top left corner with one nail and make sure the corner is flush. Then hammer a nail into this spot. Now go to the bottom right corner with one nail and make sure that the corner is flush. Then hammer a nail into this spot. Next, grab three nails and go to the top middle section of the backing. Then hammer in the three nails like this.
Now with the rest of the nails, hammer them equidistant of each other all along these four edges. Then put the chest against your intended wall and grab yourself the wall hardware bag. I've done the wall hardware steps already in another video, so I'll leave a link with a timestamp in the description below of how to properly secure the same brackets to drywall. So now let's focus on assembling the small drawers. So put this front drawer piece into this orientation and grab four of these screws from bag two. Then screw the four screws into these four holes. Then grab two side drawer pieces and put them into this orientation. Just make sure one of them has a warning sticker. Also grab four of these dowels and hammer them into these four holes. Now connect both side drawer pieces like this. Next, grab four fasteners and secure them into these four holes. Then grab the bottom of the drawer and insert it like this. Now grab the back of the drawer and put it on a shelf. Then grab four plastic pins and hammer them into these four holes. Now grab two bumpers and insert them into these two holes. Then flip the drawer over and grab yourself a DL and DR drawer slide and six of these screws. Now go to the left side and secure the DL drawer slide with three screws. The three screws will be going into these three holes. Then repeat the same step for the other side with the DR drawer slide. Now repeat all the steps that pertain to the small drawer one more time and don't worry about the warning sticker as all the side drawer pieces are the same. So now let's focus on the big drawers. Put this front drawer piece into this orientation and grab four of these screws. Then screw in the four screws into these four holes. Next, grab both side drawer pieces and put them into this orientation. Just make sure the markings are facing inwards. Also grab four dowels and hammer them into these four holes. Then connect both side drawer pieces as shown. Now grab four fasteners and secure them into these four holes. Next, grab the bottom of the drawer and insert it as shown. Then grab the back of the drawer and put it on like this. Now grab four plastic pins and hammer them into these four holes. Next, grab two bumpers and insert them into these two holes.
Then flip the drawer over and grab yourself a DL and a DR drawer slide and six of these screws. Now go to the left side and secure the DL drawer slide with three screws. The three screws will be going to these three holes. Then repeat the same step for the other side with the DR drawer slide. Next, grab the middle support and two of these small pointy screws. Now screw in one screw into this hole, but not all the way in. Then attach this end of the middle support like this. Next, secure the middle support with the other screw. It's going to look something like this. Now repeat the same steps that are in relation to the big drawer three more times. After assembling all the drawers, put the small drawer with the warning sticker in the top left corner like this. Then put the rest of the drawers in any way you want. Now check that everything opens and closes relatively smoothly, but if you followed all these steps, then you shouldn't have any issues. So you should now have a fully assembled mom's six drawer chest from Ikea. Hopefully this tutorial helped you out.